Welcome to Cozumel, Mexico. In this video, we are going on a tour through our cruise ship, Norwegian Cruise Lines. We are going to a bee sanctuary, we're gonna sample some tequila, and we're also gonna taste some chocolate. Let's go. Located in the dazzling Caribbean Sea, Cozumel can be found just off the eastern coast of Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. But don't let its small size fool you. With a population of around 100,000 residents, this island paradise is bursting with life and culture. Cozumel is a popular port of call for cruise ships and can accommodate numerous ships each day. The area is also a top diving destination and boasts some incredible underwater ecosystems. And on land, you can find shopping, dining, and cultural experiences where you can immerse yourself in Mayan heritage and modern Mexican culture. This was our last port of call on our recent cruise. And if you're new here, I've been sharing our full cruise experience in my previous videos, so check those out for more, linked in the description below. We arrived early in the morning and there were already ships in port, so we knew that it was going to be a busy area. I love when the ships actually dock because walking along the pier gives you great photo opportunities and I find it much better than when we have to tender into port. The port area was total chaos. There were numerous meeting spots for tours, various lines, and crowds of people pretty much everywhere. But we found a quieter area and decided to look around and do some window shopping before our tour met. There are tons of shops here. If you're looking for souvenirs, you don't even need to leave the port area if you don't want to. You could easily spend a day here walking around and dining or having a drink at the restaurants and bars. And don't forget to get a photo with the Cozumel sign, which is right in front of the pier. And if you wait for the crowds to die down, you may get it to yourself. Then it was time for us to meet up with our tour and head to our bus. Our first stop of the tour was at the Mayan Bee Sanctuary where we learned more about three types of Mayan bees that do not sting and we also got to taste some of the honey. The tour of the Mayan Bee Sanctuary kicked off with a traditional Mayan blessing before we made our way into the sanctuary to learn more about the bees. The property was very beautiful with lovely foliage and there was even a cenote on the property. It was a very informative tour and we actually got to see where these three types of bees make their hives in wood. They have it hanging from the trees here so that they can tell where the hives are. And we even got to see some of these small bees flying in and out of the hives. Then afterwards, we got to go in and taste some of the honey and learn more about the medicinal properties, etc. And we even got to taste one of their cough drops, which was actually pretty delicious. So if you're sick, I would recommend getting some of those or get some for when you're sick. And then afterwards, we had some free time to go around to see what we could purchase. They had some different souvenirs, a bunch of different um, products that you can get made from honey, as well as honey. I should also note, they said that they don't actually harvest the honey from this particular bee sanctuary. They get it from the Yucatan Peninsula, but it is pure from the Mayan bees. After some free time, we headed back to the bus to get to the next location. Our second stop of the tour is at El Mirador, which is a restaurant and bar. There's tons of seating here and the waves are just nuts. They're crashing in. There's some people out on the rocks over here. I don't think they should be there because if the water knocked them off, they would probably be seriously injured. But it is a beautiful spot to come, get a drink and enjoy the scenery. This was such a beautiful stop and I would have loved to have more time here to actually sit and enjoy lunch or a drink but unfortunately we only had a short time. So if you're in the area, I definitely recommend adding this to your itinerary and stopping for a leisurely beach lunch with some amazing ocean views. There are also some little vendors down the beach selling various items and it would be a great spot to go for a nice beach walk but just be careful because 
think the sand is sharp here. Our next stop on the itinerary was at the Mayan Cocoa Company. This is not just a chocolate demonstration, but a full experience to learn more about the history of chocolate in the Mayan and Mexican culture. Throughout the property, we saw various artifacts and there were even some videos that provided an overview and immersive experience. Then after the video, we got in line for a sample. This was Ha Sickle Pop. I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly, but this is a dip made of ground pumpkin seeds, tomato puree, chilies, herbs, and onion. It has a peanut butter-like consistency, and despite its somewhat unappetizing appearance, it was very delicious. I'm gonna try and do this one-handed. Almost like a peanut butter. Mm -hmm. Very good. Then it was time for a chocolate demonstration and another sample. I'm sure you know about it. Have you ever heard about the old spice? Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. I'm not talking about the after Shami. No. <laughs> this is you know for Thanksgiving, Christmas, room cakes, people tell by. Yes, exactly. Look at that, just a little bit, okay? Perfect. After the demonstration, the crowd lined up again for more samples. This time it was their delicious chocolate. We could each select three samples to keep the line moving, and then we could go back for more. I tried the almond hazelnut, mint, and chipotle chili. As you can see here, it was a little hectic inside, so we went out the back and found a different chocolate bar, one that served drinks. They had a few specialty drinks on the menu, and we decided to get the chocolate piña colada, and oh my, it was so tasty. The drinking continued with the tequila demonstration and tasting. We each got three samples and learned more about the making of tequila. Ready? Say with me. Arriba. Arriba. Abajo. Abajo. Al centro. Al centro. Adentro. Arreto. Salud. Not only was it informative, but it was also very tasty. We ended up with some free time to go and shop in the tequila store, but we had our sights set on something more important freshly made tacos. Thank you. Thank you. Yes or no? Yeah, sure, put whatever you want on it. We got one order to share and tried the pork, beef, and chicken. And while all of them were delicious, my favorite was definitely the pork. And after a long day with no real lunch, these really hit the spot. Then our tour came to an end and we were dropped off back at the port where we did a bit more window shopping and looking around before we got back on the ship, where they conveniently funnel you through the duty-free shop to get into the line to go back to the pier. With so many ships in port, the security line was long and it was pretty slow, but eventually we made it through and then we danced our way back aboard. Overall, we enjoyed the tour, we just wish there was more time for the beach stop to enjoy that lovely beach bar and I would definitely recommend these stops if you're building your own itinerary on your visit to Cozumel. I hope this video can be helpful for you if you're planning a trip to Cozumel in the future, especially if you're taking a cruise. And it doesn't really matter what cruise line because they all do very similar tours. Anyways, if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Coming up, I have more cruise content to share. I'll be posting videos highlighting our likes and dislikes of the cruise, and more about the included food options and entertainment, so stay tuned for those.